Okay, everybody, happy Friday and happy new year. I know it's been a couple of weeks since we do this on a Friday afternoon because of the holidays, but we are back. And once again, my name is Natalia and I'm here to help you with some of the questions that I posted in our Facebook group this week that have to do with math. Um, I did post some other questions, but we're gonna focus on math today, okay? All right, so let's dive right in. This first question says, uh, Stephanie typed up a document at the speed of 88 words per minute. It took her 22 minutes to type up the document and each page has 150 words. How many pages long was the document? So this is what we could call like a rate question or a proportion question. Um, what we have to do is we have to find the rate or the proportion or do the proportion a couple of times. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. What I like to do because this has a couple of steps to it is I like to start at the end, okay? So I like to look at what the question is asking me for and try to build my way from there. So the question says, how many pages long was the document? So I wanna compare this to a rate that has pages. So here is a rate that has pages. Each page has 150 words. So each page is 150 words. So I'm going to use that. I'm going to say one page is 150 words. And I'm trying to find the number of pages in total. So I'm going to put X pages up here, which means that what I'm doing is comparing this to words. If pages and pages are up here, that means that words have to be down here. Well, what am I comparing this to? If I wanna know the pages of the entire document, then I need to compare it to the words of the entire document. Well, how do I find the words of the entire document? That's where the beginning of our question comes into play. We know that Stephanie is typing 88 words per minute, so this is a rate, and it takes her 22 minutes. So with that information, we can figure out how many words she typed in 22 minutes. So. I'm gonna set it up once again, 88 words for every one minute as a proportion. And I'm gonna compare this to 22 minutes and we're gonna find out how many words. Okay, now one times X is X and eight times 22, we're gonna find that here. 2 times 8 is 16, carry the 1. 2 times 8 is 16, plus 1 is 17, placeholder 0. Once again, 2 times 8 is 16, carry the 1. 2 times 8 is 16, plus 1 is 17. We add this up, 6, 3, carry a 1, 9, 1. So 1,936 words. Now that we have the total number of words for the document, we can plug that in over here. And our equation is complete, which means we can cross multiply. So 150 times x, 150 x. One times 1,936 is just one now, 1,000, sorry, 936. We're gonna divide that by 150 each side to get the x by itself. And now we're gonna do 1936 divided by 150. So 150 goes into 193 one time. We're gonna do 150, we subtract it, three, four, zero. I'm gonna bring down that six. Okay, I know that three times 15 gives me 450 or 45. So 150 times three would give me 450. That's too big. So I'm just gonna go for two. So 150 times two is 300 and I have 136 words left over. Now that means that this document takes up 12 pages plus 136 words. So what we need to do, because this is a physical example, is we need to round that up to 13 pages, okay? Because 12 pages isn't enough. We still have words left over. So our answer for this one is C. If that's what you put when you answered this question this week, awesome job, you did great. Okay, so now that we got that, let's keep going. Remember, if you have any questions about this, you can leave a comment below and I'll be more than happy to help you with it. 
All right, so here we have a fraction, um, a mixed number problem. I love these questions. So what I like to do is I like to line them up. So I do one and five, six minus one fifth. Why do I do that? I do that so I can see what gets subtracted from what, okay? So this shows me automatically that I have to subtract the fractions first. So how do I subtract fractions? Easy. I give them the same denominator. How do I give them the same denominator? To me, the easiest way to do that is multiplying the other fraction by the denominator of the other. That sounds weird, but basically that means if the denominator here is five, this side gets multiplied by five. And if the denominator is six here, this side gets multiplied by six. When I do that, I get 25 over 30 minus six over 30. Now they have the same denominator. Once I have that, what I do is I subtract the top. 25 minus six gives me 19 over 30. Now that we have our fraction figured out, we can put that over here on the fraction side and we do one minus zero is one, okay? Pretty easy once you organize yourself. So that means the answer is B. So if that's what you answered this week, great job, you got it right. All right, let's keep going. So I just wanna remind you, um, we do these lives every Friday. If you can't tune in at 12 p.m., that's okay. It does stay in our feed for this group. So you can just keep looking at it however many times you need to. Um, and this is also a reminder that the explanations I'm giving you now is something that we do with our course three times a week. So if you really want something like where you're studying for the ASVAB and you're getting these detailed explanations and you're getting that extra practice and you're working with someone, then let me know and I'll be more than happy to tell you about how to join our course because our course includes three live classes every single week. So it's three hours of tutoring every week, okay? All right, now that I said that, let's keep going. So this one is super easy. Simplify six exclamation point. It's actually, uh, exclamation point means factorial. And factorial means that we multiply everything in front of that number, including that number to each other. Now, that's super easy, but you have to know that definition. If you don't, obviously you're gonna get it wrong. So this is one of those examples of things in the mathematics knowledge section of the ASVAB that you can get wrong just by simply not knowing what it means, okay? So that means that this is gonna be one times two times three times four, oops, there we go, times five times six, okay? Um, to simplify this, I'm going to do 2, 12, 30, 24, and now I just do 24 times 30. Okay, 0, 0, placeholder 0, 12, carry the 1, 720. So our answer is C. Okay, so just real quick, if you have to multiply several numbers, um, do your best to just kind of do this with them and that way you can move faster. I do that when I'm multiplying numbers and I also do that when I'm adding numbers. And that way I don't have to worry about carrying so many numbers in my head. Okay, hope you got that. Let's keep going. Here's our last question for this week. There we go. So it says Talia types 84 words per minute. Is she typed a document with 336 words? How much time did it take her to type up the document? Okay, so this is um, pretty similar to the first question we did, but it's actually a lot easier than it. So let's look at how to do this. We are looking for the time that it took her to type up the document, right? Oops, sorry about that. How much time? Well, um, she typed up 336 words. That's how much, the, like that's how many words the document has and 84 words per minute, okay? So that means if we're trying to figure out how long it takes her to do 336 words, we set up a proportion with this rate that's given to us. So we can do 84 
Oh, sorry. Something's going on with my pen here. Give me one second. 84 words for every one minute. And we're looking for time of 336 words. So we're going to put X minutes down here. We're going to cross multiply. 84 times X is 84X. 1 times 306, sorry, 336 is 336. We're going to divide this by 84. That cancels out. And we get 336 divided by 84. So 84 can't go into 33. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do a little bit of estimation to make sure that we're on track here. Um, so 84 times maybe eight, let's try. Actually, if we round this to 80, 80 times four gives me 320. So let's try 84 times four. So four times four is 16, carry the one. Four times eight is 32 plus one. Oh, there it is, 336. So it's exactly four. Okay, so now we go to our answers and we have two answer choices with four. We have four minutes and four hours. So to make sure I don't confuse you here, what we wanna do is we wanna go back and remember what we're looking for. We're looking for minutes, which means this stands for four minutes making our answer A, okay? So I just wanted to point that out because sometimes um, when we're in a hurry, we might miss that and accidentally put the wrong answer, even though we did all the math correctly, okay? So make sure that you're paying attention to stuff like that. All right, guys, that's it for our questions for this week. Um, I hope that was helpful. Remember, you can always leave a comment below if you have a question or any kind of comment or anything like that. I'll be more than happy to help you. Um, and once again, we do this every Friday at 12 p.m. And I also do this with our students for our course three times a week for, you know, three hours in total. Um, so once again, if you're interested in joining us, just let me know and I'll be more than happy to tell you more about it. All right. So with that said, I hope you have a wonderful Friday and a wonderful rest of your week. And good luck as you study for the ASVAB.